hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is an update of the ongoing construction of the boni bodu road project in the niger delta region of nigeria the contractor handling the 200 billion naira nlng sponsored bodo boni road construction project jilos Bega nigeria plc has abandoned the project and demobilized from site over project variation arising from exchange rates and other economic indices in the country the project which was awarded to Jilos Bega Nigeria PLC by the previous administration in 2017 at about 200 billion naira is being financed by the Nigerian LNG Limited under the federal government tax rebate scheme. The 37.9 km road project with 17 small and big bridges which is currently about 84% completed was initially awarded for 120 billion naira to be completed in December 2022. While the project variation was later adjusted to 200 billion in 2021, with projected completion date as at 31st December 2023, confirming the demobilization from the site by Jilos Bega, the acting chairman Bodo Boni Road Peace Committee expressed displeasure over the sudden abandonment of the project by Jilos Bega, despite the funds committed by the federal government through NLNG. The government also noted that there was a partnership agreement in 2017 between the federal government of Nigeria through the Ministry of Works and NLNG on the modalities for the funding of the project and wondered why the contractor would actually demobilize from site despite the agreement to deliver within the revised date of completion. The government faulted the contractor on variations of the project even when the company had signed a commitment to complete the project without asking for further variations. Also, a major source from the federal government has actually given a history of the Boni Bodo Road project and actually, the initial date of completion was supposed to be 31st of December 2023, but the project has lingered beyond the completion date. And according to the ministry, there are three main bridges and nine mini bridges and one bridge over the pipeline. The project completion currently is about 84% and the contractor has requested for a review which is against the spirit of the propagated agreement that was signed between the federal government, the NLNG, and Jilos Bega Nigeria PLC in 2021. In a bid to get the contractors back to site, the federal government has directed that the contractor should go back to the site to complete the Boni Bodo Road projects and bridges in River State. The government has also described the Boni Bodo Road and bridge projects as a catalyst for an economic revolution in the area adding that the past administration awarded the contract to Jilos Bega Nigerian PLC on the basis of trust and competence. Also, government sources claim that Jilos Bega Nigeria PLC had reportedly delayed the completion of the project because they were seeking additional funds for the project. However, the government has actually faulted the company for the variation of the project even when it signed an agreement to complete the project without seeking additional funds. The Bodo Boni Road project consists of about 13 bridges comprising three main bridges, nine mini bridges, and one bridge over the pipeline. The length of the Boni Bodo Road project is about 35.7 kilometers. The Bodo Boni Road project will be the first road to connect oil-rich Boni Island to the mainland of River State. The project actually cuts across four local government areas in River State of Nigeria. The project is a tripartite agreement between the Federal Government of Nigeria, Liquefied Natural Gas, and Jilos Bega Nigeria PLC. In 2021, Jilos Bega Nigeria PSA requested for a review of the contracts of which the federal government maintained is against the propagated agreement signed by the three parties. The refusal of the federal government to accent to the contractor's variation of the project led to the abandonment of the Bodo Boni Road project. The Bodo Boni Road project, which will link the mainland of Bodo to the island of Boni, home to the Nigerian Liquefied Natural Gas Limited and many oil companies, is an ongoing project that is vital to the growth of the economy of Nigeria. The link road which traverses the forests, swamps and creeks will provide a safer mode of movement to Boni Island where major oil companies carry out their operations. Before now, the oil majors and other companies spent huge sums of money on helicopters and boat services, sometimes at great risk as well. Already, the construction of the road has provided about 719 direct jobs and 3,050 indirect jobs for the youth and the people of the host communities and others, while the completed stretch of the road has reduced travel time to the Afe Creek jetty from 40 minutes to 5 minutes as well as cut travel costs from about 6,000 to 2,000 naira. 
It is also stated that the completed stretch of the road has provided easy access for residents to their farms, schools, health centers in the communities, while the other stretches with the first completed major bridge, which is Afar Creek Bridge, and the Sanfield stretch of the alignment has provided access to the site of the ongoing Bodo oil spill remediation project. The completed works on the road are payment of compensations for structures, crops, and economic trees along the road alignment, demolition of compensated structures at the burning axis of the project, site clearance and site clearance for out four drains route, among others. Similarly, main bridges at Afar Creek, Opobo Channel, Nanabie Creek, Pipeline and nine mini bridges with a total of 348 meters long are at advanced stages of completion. The quality road network being the most critical component of a national multimodal transportation plan is the foundation of a thriving economy, good road links up the national socio-economic arteries, centers and hubs. It is therefore not surprising that the current administration is determined to link Nigerians everywhere by roads and consequently bolster the economy. When eventually completed, the long-abandoned Bodoboni Road project in River State will bring a gleeful and gladdening end, one of the most perplexing chapters in the catalogue of Nigeria's abandoned projects. Instructively, the project is significant because there has never been any road linking the two communities since the advent of human existence and civilization. To move from one end of the community to the other, Natives depended largely on swimming, while the major sources of transporting people, goods and services were wooden boats and later motorized ferries. Consequently, the large number of agricultural products, timber, wood and fish, which abound in the numerous communities and creeks that straddled Bodo and Boni, can only be used by natives or transported at a very high cost to other parts of the country. Although three previous administrations in Nigeria tried to construct the all-important road, the field, over the years it continued to feature in every federal government budget. But help came the way of the historic project when the past administration came on board and created a tax credit policy that encourages the private sector to invest in the construction of roads and other critical national infrastructure and be reimbursed by the government. Under the policy, the Nigerian liquefied natural gas provided the sum of about 200 billion naira for the Bodoboni Road construction project, while the federal government will refund the money through a tax credit scheme. As the first road linking Boni Island to the rest of River State, the Bodoboni Road is a milestone infrastructure development project for the advancement of the Niger Delta and a catalyst for the continued success of Boni Island, a key industrial area in Nigeria tied to the economic development and general well-being of the nation as a whole. But seeing that the project was actually abandoned due to the crisis rocking the exchange rates in Nigeria, it is sad and hopefully the government does something about this. Guys, do well to drop your honest comments in the comment section. Tell us what you think about this project. Don't forget to subscribe and share our content as we continue to grow Nigeria positively. Thank you.